At this point, Randy joins us, now our second interview, and we tell him we've been digging around and learned that before he married Jay, the mild-mannered professor was a serious Don Juan. I even had a source, his mother. Girls seem to think he was great. Since then, there have been many. So your mom said you were a player. My mom said I was a player? Your mother. You've uh, taught me to tell the truth. Well, that <laughs> <laughs> My friends and family were starting to use words like ever and still and <laughs> Peter Pan. Um, and, uh, and when I met Jay, it just, things just completely changed. He has already lived a few months beyond the doctor's six-month prognosis. Though, as we talk, we notice a physical difference. His face is fuller, in part because of a brutal regimen of chemotherapy. Though his kind doesn't make you lose your hair. And this time, he would occasionally perspire or then shudder as if cold. I do feel a different mood. Oh, a lot of things have changed. Are you in pain? I don't think of myself as being in pain when I have neuropathy. I, I have a lot of trouble feeling my fingers and toes. I have sometimes trouble keeping my body temperature up. My kidney functions at about 50%. But he is still Randy. Uh, I am alive. So I feel great. <laughs> Between doctor's appointments, he and Jay try to take some time just for each other. His inspiration, another of his eclectic philosophers. The best piece of parenting advice I have ever heard is from flight attendants. And that is, when things really get tough, put on your own oxygen mask first. We wondered if the two of them have a kind of list of things they'd like to do in the days to come. If there was anything I wanted to do that badly, you know, I should have already done it. The little moments of joy that we have around the house, you know, that's my bucket list. It's how many of those moments can we have? Where we are together and we're holding hands or we're reading the paper and debating what's going on. And, and those are um, gems that I hold on to. But Jay had already confided to us that the day before the interview, she'd been in tears again. When we get the scans once a month, it's very hard. That reminder of it's there, you know, that, that sand is ticking, that sand is coming right out. As they sat together, Jay kept looking at him. What were you looking at in his face? Oh, just those lovely brown eyes. Are you having your Nancy Reagan moment? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> He's such an eloquent speaker. What is it you most like looking at in her face? I like looking at her, period. Um, you know, and the best part is being with my wife. Yeah, that's the best anything can be. When we come back, the rest of this love story. Their three children. A question. If you had six months to live, where would you begin with your children? <laughs> Dylan Pausch, age six, so like Randy. It's always questions, questions, questions. What did he do in the 18th? He freed the slaves. How did you free them? Can I five? All right. Logan, age three, so like his dad, too. I see the gregariousness, the, the happiness, the tigerousness. Is that crazy high? Is that crazy high? Is that crazy high? Oh, my goodness, that's crazy high. Chloe is 18 months. In our first interview, Randy had told us he was spending a lot of time thinking about and researching what of your life you should leave for your kids, like a message in a bottle. He's made videos, of course, with a portrait of himself as an everyday dad. What was my favorite food or my least favorite food? You know, it's not all the big life lessons, you know. Sometimes it's just the little things. And I want my kids to hear the bad stories about me as well as the good. Bad stories? What bad oh, stories do you imagine? stupid things what? and bonehead mistakes. Give me and some one of my stupid bonehead thing. Well, there was like the a... home repair that involved electrocution. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and guess what he's making them? Stuffed animals. I think that them having something that I made with my own hands will be a way for me to connect with them. He told us this is all a perfect metaphor for his iPod. If Randy were to fill his iPod, what would the songs be? And, uh, you know, if I could catch time in a bottle. If I could save time in a bottle The first thing that I'd like to do to save every day till eternity passes away 
just to spend them with you. And of course, there's the book he has written, making sure that each boy has an equal number of words. And for Chloe, his only girl, with her mischievous smile. There's that sort of twinkle in the eye. And maybe it was the look in Chloe's eye that inspired a cautionary moment in that lecture, a lesson for girls everywhere. So said, it took me a long time, but I finally figured it out. When it comes to men that are romantically interested in you, it's really simple. Just ignore everything they say and only pay attention to what they do. And I thought back to my bachelor days and I said, damn. <laughs> you almost look like you're going to give daddy a kiss. <gasps> no. <laughs> Where are you in telling the kids? We're not. When do you start to... Where he is in bed sick and at that time they will understand, they will see that he is sick and so the words your daddy is sick will match with the picture of daddy is sick. Um, right now daddy doesn't look sick, Randy doesn't act sick. The best part of the story will be told on the last day of my life. On the last day of your life? So I'll never get to hear the best part of the story. That's wrong. You think Dylan knows something? I hope to God he doesn't. But after all those years, I think you, you may have to remind me. It's not time for him to know. I pray nobody will go up to him and say anything to him. It's not time. So if somebody were to tell him or if he were to suspect his father were dying, he might think that that was today, tonight, tomorrow. So where do you come up with all these great stories? In your, in your head? Are you using your imagination? Sydney really isn't real. Him Jay are also recruiting playmates who share Randy's spirit. Like Randy's niece and nephew, who remember when Uncle Randy gave them two rules. No whining. And don't tell Mom what we do. Yeah. <laughs> he was most determined to teach them that material things are just not important once you get a brand new car. So cool. Awesome. Blue convertible. It's a convertible. Yeah, very cool. Their mother, Randy's sister, was worried, lecturing her kids about being seriously careful, so Uncle Randy opened a can of Coke and poured it right in, under the seat. <laughs> we, we couldn't believe it. And you ask me what I want this year And I try to make this clear And clear just a 